All right, everybody, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about how to add a wicking bed onto your aquaponic system. Wicking beds are really simple to build and they allow you to grow more crops out of your aquaponic system than you would be able to do in just a deep water culture bed or your media bed. First, you need to build out your grow bed. It could be a plastic tub or a wooden structure that you've built and lined it with Duraskrim liner or a pond liner. Um, it just needs to be watertight because wicking beds don't drain like a regular soil bed does. Here I've set up a U-shaped perforated two inch pipe. And this is where I'll drain nutrient rich aquaponic water down to the bottom of this grow bed. Since this grow bed is built lower than the water level in the fish tanks, this system is gonna work purely on gravity. Building a good wicking bed is all about having good layers. You're also gonna to wanna to have it the correct depth, which is gonna be at least 16 to 18 inches deep. The gravel that you're seeing in there right now is just to hold the pipe in place so it doesn't fall over while I'm setting the first layers in. For the first layer, I like to add vermiculite. I add enough vermiculite where you can't see the bottom drainage pipe at all anymore. Then I want to add a barrier to keep my roots from growing into that perforated pipe. Here I'm using an old bed sheet. I'll cut it nice to fit and then we're good. Alright, now we're on to the next layer. For this particular layer, I'm using a cocoa cord. This cocoa is amended with grow stones and it increases aeration quite a bit. I like to add about two inches of cocoa and then I'm on to my next layer, which is soil. For my topsoil, I'm using Roots Organics Formula 707. Stuff works great. The purpose of having a mixture like this is so that when you water through the bottom, water will be wicked up to the top. So the plants will be watered from the bottom rather than being watered from the top. Since there's no drainage and the water is being fed from the bottom of this grow bed, the water is used much more efficiently. In the winter time, you'll probably only need to water once a week. In the summertime, you might need to water more frequently. So by adding a wicking bed to your aquaponic system, you're able to have a lot more flexibility with the plants that you choose to grow, and you're still saving water, even though it's technically not a recirculating system. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I will do my best to answer them.